Morning, morning, morning. You all will see that Masal is better today. We are all around happier uh, in the house. Um, although I'm quite grumpy because uh, Rhoda's lost so much weight, none of her clothes fit, and that really upsets me. Oops, sorry about this. I'm just quitting out of this because I know people are going to start sending me messages that will be really irritating during this thing. I know there's a fancy way to switch it off, which I really ought to do before we do these sessions. Right, there I am. Okay, so today is day 29. And it's really the last day that I'm going to be talking about anxiety because this very cool thing that I'm not telling you about starts from tomorrow. So if you are not already on the mailing list, get on the mailing list. It is pennycastlewriter.com and there's a pop-up box and you can just fill in and then you can get in on the action. But from tomorrow onwards, we're going to be start talking about that amazing, cool thing that I've been working on for ever such a long time. So before we get into it, I want to show you something cool. I don't know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> oh, wait, let me move the camera. Ta-da! Shannon bought me green socks. So I know you're thinking, that's quite a look. She's got that Batman t-shirt shorts and long Grinch socks. And I am unrepentant because they're Grinch socks. <laughs> so before we start about my anxiety, and I have one last, well, it's sort of three things. I wanted to also show you this. You will not believe it, but Shannon was away on a work trip to the UK last week. And when he came back, this is what came with him. Now, he claims to have never seen this before. And yet there it was, hiding away in our door. And of course, he goes, I've never seen this before. But oh, look at that. There's a wooden stick to pierce your cuticle there. Ooh. And then yet another one. Um, and so all his claims that he, and I say to him, but why, when you were coming back on a Saturday, did you buy the nail clippers on a Friday? And he goes, because it was Friday. Friday is nail clipping day. So if you think that I'm the one with the obsessive compulsions, nope, it's him. It's Shannon, Shannon, Shannon. He has the obsessive compulsions, not me. I'm completely sane and fine. Um, so what are we talking about today? Well, we are talking about uh, Facebook, bizarrely enough. So two things, three things really um, about Facebook is yesterday <laughs> in my misery, I actually had a really good writing day yesterday. I got down 2,000 words, which I was quite excited about. That kind of cheered me up. Um, but I also with February and the end of the tax year coming up, started putting together my expenses for the year. Um, yeah, the writing business is not in the black yet. So let's hope <laughs> that we have a breaking up bestseller at a really good price coming in the new year. Um, the, so the first thing anyway is I started adding up just how much I had spent in Facebook ads and I started looking at what I had got for those ads and we took an executive decision that we will not be using Facebook ads until at least we understand them better or we get the help from somebody who actually understands them better because I've taken all these courses so I know how to set up a Facebook ad but I have noticed that it's really expensive. What I get for it doesn't make up for it. And I've noticed that nearly all the people who have joined the page from ads are the people who don't engage at all on the, the, uh, the Facebook lives or the posts. So, you know, so maybe I'm not doing what it takes to engage those people. Maybe I'm not what they expected. Um, so we are putting that on hiatus. Uh, we actually made a whole lot of decisions about things that we're not doing next year. So we are not updating my old castle coaching website until next year. Uh, we are not launching my side project until next year, although I will be working on it this year, but next year. Um, and 
We will also uh, not be using, there's a technology called Enomoto, which allows you to make these cool little snippet videos, and we will not be doing that until next year. So that is the first thing that was making me really anxious because, you know, at the moment, like, uh, this is being funded from the kind of the remnants of what is left from my, uh, my working life. But, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, Shannon did lie in bed next, uh, next to me last night saying, if I make a promise that I will never tell you, you have to go back and be a coach, would that make you feel less anxious? And I was like, yes, it would. So it's like, okay, you never have to go back and be a coach. <laughs> Which actually did, well, I don't know. I don't know whether it was the sleeping pills or that, but I did actually get a good night's sleep and I didn't feel too anxious about it during the night. But the other thing is kind of more common with Facebook actually is, so Facebook's algorithm and I do not know how Facebook's algorithm works, but what it is, what it emulates is something called the reticular activation system in your brain. So the reticular activation system in your brain is the part of your brain, well, let me go back a step. At any given time, that I can't remember the exact statistics, but there's something like five billion bits of data uh, coming at you from any, uh, you know, at any time. If you think about, um, you know, like sitting here now, do you know what the back of your elbow is doing? Uh, what is sitting, you know, what does actually the back of your neck feel like? And that's just within your body, let alone within the environment around you. So your brain um, is quite clever because what it does is it filters out things that it thinks you don't need. And, and one of the ways it does that is something called your reticular activation system. So your reticular activation system filters out data that is not consistent with what you believe to be true. So let, it's also called the Camry effect. But a really good example that uh, lots of people will um, uh, resonate with is, is that if you are trying to get pregnant or you are pregnant, you will notice that the world suddenly becomes full of other pregnant women. You'll see them everywhere. Um, if you have just bought a certain brand of car, you will see them everywhere on the road. So the reticular activation system is that bit that goes, oh, you know, being pregnant is the best thing possible. And then it gathers data to support you. And that's a really clever bit of your brain and it helps you not become overwhelmed. It's one of the things I think probably that people who are on the spectrum and stuff struggle with because they, you know, the filtering systems of data aren't working properly. But that's just my supposition. I don't have a medical perspective on that. So why am I talking about the reticular activation system of not anxiety? Well, the Facebook algorithm appears to emulate that so if you go like a friend of mine said he is um, going on a trip to Kiev so he um, he googled uh, flights to Kiev um, which I think is where his wife comes from and um, and something else but he is so he's a journalist so he Google something else about the Ukraine and suddenly his Facebook page is filled with adverts of kind of Ukrainian male order brides you know? so what the thing so what these algorithms do is they take something that show shown an interest with extrapolate that and then feed you data so for example, with me is I foolishly watched one of those tasty videos on how to make like a vegetarian lasagna. And now like my Facebook feed is filled with vegetarian and vegan recipes, um, which are frankly unappealing to, to a confirmed meat eater like myself. Um, so, and in my world, really how this freaks me out and, and the anxiety bit is obviously I have been doing a fair amount of work so I just look and the dogs are having a field day at the gate um, the what it what the algorithm does is there's two bits of data that it keeps feeding me that fill me full of anxiety so the first one might be one that you recognize yourselves you know I I as you know have a habit and I feed this habit 
by enrolling in free online courses. So often on digital marketing, but on all sorts of entrepreneurial writing, all sorts of different things. Um, but I like going to those webinars and I like doing the freebie courses and I like online courses in general, actually. Um, uh, and now what I find is that my Facebook page, his uh, feed is absolutely filled with entrepreneurial related stuff. Great, you may think, but nearly all of them start with reasons your business will fail. Like your business is failing because you don't understand X. You know, the next big thing that'll interrupt and ruin your business is, and I find that it's quite anxiety provoking because I have all these, I must admit, they're mostly American white men kind of yelling at me about why everything in my business is going to fail. It didn't help doing uh, my, my, uh, <laughs> my annual income expense uh, work you know I mean every business when you're starting it up costs money right uh, but <laughs> in the background then I have all these men telling me how it must fail it's gonna fail and if I only get hand over all my life savings to them it's the only way that I could possibly succeed so that fills me with anxiety um, and the other one which is is very weird and I really don't know how I got into my feed but it's got into my and it gets into my feed from like the people who actually produce the product themselves but also like some people like ink magazine and like you know like people who actually write like useful articles a lot of the time and it always starts with why you have been pooing the wrong way your whole life and you know of all the things that I had to worry about in the last year you know my position on the loo, I thought I had that covered. I really, you know, <laughs> it wasn't something that I thought like, yeah, you should really be worrying about this. And now, and I suppose this is where he says I have the obsessive uh, uh, tendency. It's because now I can't go to the loo without thinking about how I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> so I, the, the product that they're selling is called the Squatty Pot. I think and they and they posit that man is designed to squat man or woman humankind is is designed to squat in order to push out to herd um, and that modern day toilets uh, allow us to sit which then does something in your rectum on your colon that I really don't want to think about that is wrong they don't actually say, like, what are the consequences of having it wrong. But now, of all the things I have in my life, like, am I writing correctly? Am I, uh, you know, promoting my stuff correctly? Am I doing Facebook Lives correctly? All these things go completely out the window because now I have yet another thing that I sit on the loo and I worry about, and that is, am I pooing right? I think Facebook, like you just be mean spirited for people with anxiety when you do stuff like that. So anyway, and what I can tell you is, alas, all the medication, it has not stopped me worrying about the position of my pooing. Um, I, and then I think about, okay, well, what could I do differently? But really, fairly, like you've seen what I look like. Imagine me now trying to crawl up to squat on top of the toilet seat. Like it, it's just not viable. You know, and I am not spending however many trillions of dollars it is to have effectively like what is like, you know, those little plastic steps that you used to give toddlers when they want to wee better in the loo. Um, I'm not doing that to my beautiful bathroom. <laughs> so um, the solution is, is that I will actually just stay worrying about this. So, you know, I hope I've ruined your day too. I hope now that you will go through, because I'm wearing my Grinch socks, I hope you go through the festive season worrying each and every day or however often your cycle is and you worry too. Uh, are you pooing in the right position? I will talk to you tomorrow, but it's going to be about something really cool. So... If you are not on the mailing list,
get on the mailing list, paynecastlewriter.com, you will find the sign up uh, uh, pop-up box on that screen. I'll see you tomorrow.